Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I am going to do something creative with the Drake Corsair, since the Drake Corsair is a love of many. And I also made a combat loadout video for the Drake Corsair a few weeks ago. So this is the second video for the Drake Corsair, and it might not be what you thought, because I am going to try to use this ship as a torpedo supply ship for the Aegis Eclipse. Yes, you heard it right. A torpedo supply ship for the Eclipse. I had this plan in mind for a while, but have not tested it yet. So let's try it out together, shall we? All right, so this is our Eclipse and uh, we need Captain's help. So she's here to help us. So first of all, I am going to lift off and turn on my torpedo mode. There we go, the torpedo is over here and then we can get to work so let's take this first torpedo out wow look at the size of this thing the size nine this is crazy okay i'm just gonna leave it uh over here second one if you've watched some of my previous video you know that i did many tests so in one area you can only put 25 torpedoes or missiles i think 25 assets whatever that is so anything above 25 they will start to despawn so it's not everything will persist persistent entity streaming has a limit i guess that's part of the optimization so 25 is the magic number so we are going to get 28 torpedoes so 25 plus 3 in the eclipse so 28 size 9 torpedoes that's crazy okay so three torpedoes are out we are so 11k it's not that bad once you pull out one torpedo the other torpedo will just reload right away six torpedoes oh, one torpedo is sliding away come back come back okay that's nine torpedoes look at this <laughs> this is crazy these torpedoes are quite expensive, so this probably will cost me a little bit over 100k. 100k is not that bad. One ERT group bounty mission will cover all the costs, so. But the fun is great. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, that's 18. Oh, there is one trying to slide. Got it. Okay, so 21. Oh, no. No, 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 don't, don't explode. I'm really scared. These torpedoes are very slippery. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at these torpedoes. This torpedo employed alien technology. It has the uh, gravity thing. So it can stand without touching the ground. Like this. Oh, or not. Domino, domino, domino. <laughs> okay. These torpedoes look so badass. Yeah. So let's put them inside the Drake Corsair. Perfect layout over here. I hope we can put all of them in and that they don't fight each other so they don't cause any damage in the ship because uh, a little spark can cause great explosion. Okay, I think uh, we lost some torpedoes. These are exactly 20 torpedoes. So if you are wondering how can we put the torpedo back on the eclipse, now is the time I will show you. Okay, so you take one torpedo out, you take this one out, but you have to have someone in the ship and hold the torpedo bay open manually. By manually, it means just turn on the missile mode and just sit in the pilot seat. That's it. Once you leave the pilot seat, the torpedo bay will automatically close, so you cannot do any uh, detaching. So you would have to uh, have a second person over here. But if you do this kind of operation, you can do this as, a, as an orc. You can use the Drake Corsair to supply many, many Eclipse. You can have an Eclipse squadron 
So you take them out. So here is how you put them back in. You can see those uh, three little circles. It's a little bit tricky. That's one. That's two. So number three is over here. There we go. So we just supplied this eclipse with three fresh new Seeker 9 torpedoes. How great is that? Yes, I am just me and uh, Captain. I'm not playing with anybody else. So it's really hard to use this kind of uh, tactics in combat. This is very useful if you're doing torpedo runs with multiple eclipses in an org. So with one or two Drake Corsair, you can supply your eclipse squadron with many, many torpedoes. You can have a constant supply chain for the eclipses. So there is another gameplay, supply chain gameplay for this. Wow, look at this. <laughs> this is crazy. I think each Seeker 9 torpedo will deal 160k of uh, hit points. So we have 20 of them. So basically, if my math is right, basically this torpedo will deal 3.2 million hit points. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. <laughs> but this is very, very fun. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Okay. So let's test this in combat. Obviously, we cannot get in the Drake Corsair through this cargo area. We have to go through the lift. Contact. All right, enemy in sight. This one is a reclaimer. It's our mission target. Fire. Oh, it's not firing at the torpedo. Ooh! Ooh, a lot of desync right there. But uh, destroy it. Yeah, I don't see the torpedo hit the enemy, but uh, it's destroyed. Okay, you know what? Let's destroy all of them. Freelancer miss. Fire. Oh, wow, beautiful. This is this desync is actually pretty good because you can see the explosion before the torpedo passes by because a lot of uh, torpedo camps, you cannot see the explosion when the torpedo passes by. Well, this is the destroyed reclaimer. OK, so this is the hammerhead fire. Uh, where is my torpedo going? No idea. It's not going to target and I'm out of torpedoes. Okay, resupply time. Yeah, I have no idea why the Drake Corsair is constantly drifting away a little bit. I tried everything, but it's still not standing still very annoying like this so i'm gonna do like this hopefully it will work I'm not so sure so i'm going to open the torpedo bay oh those torpedoes are still pretty good uh, this one is sliding down okay resupply one Resupply number two. And resupply number three. So three torpedoes. All resupplied for the Aegis Eclipse. And then we still have 17 torpedoes. Okay. Captain is getting inside the ship. And we're ready for the next torpedo run. Let's go. Fire. Oh! 
the rocket hammer had destroyed. Last target is also a reclaimer, but uh, the hall of this reclaimer is already red. Wow, I think we have three reclaimers. That's crazy. Okay, let's uh, go for a close run attack. Ready? Fire. Oh, 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 destroyed, mission accomplished, beautiful, <laughs> that's our enemy <laughs> reclaimer, oh that reclaimer is in pieces, alright so this is it for this video guys, I wanted to try this for a long time and I did, and the results is actually pretty good. The Drake Corsair is indeed a great ship. It can not only fight, but also the cargo bay can be utilized to do a lot of wonderful things. And this is one of them. Storing 20 size 9 torpedoes, 3.2 million hit points. That kind of firepower. Of course, right now for this ERT, group ERT, it's not really necessary because you can just fly down to any of the mining paths to do rearming and it's not that difficult. But if we are doing some work to work operation, some huge operation later, this might be useful. The Drake Corsair can be a supply ship in the back line to supply your Aegis Eclipse. Unfortunately, we can only supply Aegis Eclipse. For the Retaliator, none of the components or weapons or miss all the torpedoes can be detached and attached. So only the Aegis Eclipse. And I had so much fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye now.